Okay, what's going on guys? This is your boy once again. And now I have another review, another unboxing slash review slash detail showcase. This time is of a very, very awesome item. I'm talking about the Auto Art 118 scale Bugatti Veyron Super Sport World Record Edition. It's actually one of a thousand ever produced worldwide. Right now I'm just opening the box, taking my time with it. Shout out to the seller, he did a really great job packaging this. This is usually how I like to receive my items. As you can see, I got the nice big bubble wrap. Has a nice little plastic cover on top of the actual product box to protect it from scratching. When we look at the box, we could tell once again all the art stepping it up even more. Look at how shiny the Bugatti logo is on the box. The box is just crispy nice blue it's actually a lighter tone blue than the previous blue bugatti boxes we're used to seeing on the on the frankfurt and on the production editions of the bugattis i'm going to open it up one thing you notice is that we have some documents what you're looking at right there that's it that is the one of the two brochures it brings one of them is kind of like a brochure showcasing the models the other one is talking about more the actual car in real life and then we also have an instruction sheet showing you the proper way to um open up the spoiler and removing and placing the engine cover i'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the documents a little bit more it also brings a certificate of authenticity this one right here this is actually the booklet of the showcasing the real car and just showing details on the car itself this one's here showcasing details on the actual model and also a little bit more features talking about how the suspension and the type of wheels and the type of details they use in the actual auto art model looking at the motor as you can see a lot of detail and just wait until you guys see it with the spoiler up so you guys can really see what's going on under this like auto art did an excellent job and um this year since this is the world record edition one of the easiest way to tell them apart from the regular you know orange and black uh, auto art bugatti that they release right now which is more abundant is the fact that um this one has a yellow tag on the back and then also it has white rear lights on the back so that's how you could tell the difference between one and the other like right away unless you really like start looking into the actual details this year so you can see like the motor if you could see that that um it looks like a radiator or some kind of grill like it just look look at the perforations on it it looks like it's made out of real metal actually it's just a lot of cool like details in this you see the spoiler slash air brake of course all these parts move up they're very well made they don't seem like they're gonna fall apart but you're just touching them this here's the instruction sheet just showing how to properly remove and place the engine cover here we take a look at the car with the engine cover and the air brake up just amazing view amazing detail as you guys can see from this angle look at it from the front side profile it just is it's very menacing when you look at it from this angle it's from the back I mean how realistic does this look right here it looks like I feel like I'm looking at the real car straight out of the top gear episode when it broke the world record and the fastest lap record you guys should really try to youtube that episode i mean this is really where the where this car like was based on when auto art did this version and once again they did an excellent job so you can see in the back on that brochure that's just showing different pictures of what's inside so you know you guys can see more or less what's in that that booklet just pictures of the real car pictures of when it did this world record some design blueprints some text explaining some more details on the car and its design and what went into it this particular particular part of the brochure is just showcasing how the lights how the lights look when they're on Checking out the seat belt harnesses, matching orange, matching all the other orange accents throughout the car. 
just an amazing piece altogether. Take a look at the wheels. Nice sharp shiny orange paint. The brakes have a very well done simulated ceramic type of look to them. It also features black brake calipers with Bugatti lettering painted on them. Let's take a look at the EV logo on the back. I mean if you guys can see how shiny it is. If you guys um can recall like on the production version they actually had a sticker. Whereas now like they went back to how they did it on the on the concept slash Frankfurt version which was the first original Bugatti by Auto Art where they actually had a chrome logo except this one just looks a lot better once again it's photo edge, it's chrome, it's shiny it's also got chrome accents on the EB on the gas cap I mean let's take a look at the interior of the of the bat you can see the the carpet you can see just the simulated leather it has orange stitching on the seats that just looks just marvelous you got super sport at the bottom EV logo on the steering wheel it looks so realistic I also take note of the of the carbon fiber pattern I mean look at how real that looks and as you can see also it does have a shine coat on top of the carbon fiber pattern I mean this is it's so amazing comparison to the mini champs version and I really like I'm not trying to like talk bad about mini champs but I just feel like auto art they saw a mini champs release and they decided like you know what we just have to like come better than that and they did they definitely did now of course this item will cost you a little bit more than the mini chance version but in my opinion it's definitely worth it even if you don't get a chance to get the world record edition I definitely will opt for the auto art version instead of the mini chance version once again let's take a look at that carpet let's take a look at the actual the hood in the front if you can see this thing has struts to really keep that hood up with no effort I mean it's just so well done you guys nice carpeting on the inside I mean just a lot of detail if you look at the grill and the vents it has perforations so it's just so well done I mean like it's almost like they thought of everything that people will complain about and they went ahead and did how people will actually want them but um this is the end of my video if you guys like the video subscribe to my channel I will be having more reviews soon peace